General Motors is gearing up to launch an electric car that you can actually buy for around $30,000. It's the Chevy Bolt EV, and our own Dan Neal had a chance to drive it at GM's Technical Center outside of Detroit. He's here to talk about it. Dan, good to see you, buddy. Hello, Lee. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks. Um, tell us about this. When will this hit the market? Uh, at the end of this year, they're anticipating uh, Q4. Okay. What would you think of it? Well, you know, it's pretty big uh, news on a couple of fronts. You know, it has a couple of big numbers, 200 miles, uh, in excess of 200-mile range, and uh, as you say, $30,000. Uh, also has 200 horsepower. So in many ways, it uh, it breaks uh, thresholds of sufficiency that have been set for uh, electric vehicles for quite a long time. And it also hits metrics that Elon Musk himself set out uh, when he was talking about uh, the Model 3 Tesla, which is yet uh, to come out. It'll probably be another year after uh, after the bolt. So uh, they uh, steal a march on the sexiest company out there, uh, Tesla. Okay, so you had a chance to drive it. How does it handle? Well, you know, I had a chance to drive it around the technical center, which is a you know modest parking lot uh, kind of experience. You know, there's some. There's some uh, straightaways. Well, like all electric cars, you know, it's got a lot of scoot. It's got great packaging. You know, the packaging in the front of the car, because the battery is under the floor and very much uh, out of the way, the the front of the vehicle is the size of uh, about one of those ice boxes outside a convenience store. So if you can imagine how big of a volume that is, you know, you have that space in the dash in the front seats. Very big. It's a D-segment interior space with a B-segment car. That's the packaging advantages of an EV. Okay, Dan, you've driven a lot of sexy cars. Can a car like this seduce a car geek like yourself? <laughs> uh, and, uh, like myself, oh, yes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but here's the thing. Let's, let's set that question, a good question, aside. Uh, because, uh, really, this is a car that looks out, uh, uh, really, a decade into the future. You know, no matter which way the automobile industry breaks, and it's going to break in an insane way in the next 10 years, whether it's autonomy, whether it's EV, uh, whether, you know, it's any a number of things, this car, uh, and whether it's ride sharing, uh, the Bolt sets General Motors up to play in those arenas. And they really didn't spend a huge amount of money. This is still, you know, GM was burned uh, they didn't want to get over their skis. This is a this is a, a fairly modest uh, program, but it really puts uh, iron on the target in terms of uh, range and cost. Dan, what is GM's uncertainty principle? <laughs> well, as I say, you know they don't uh, the 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 market and we all as uh, citizens on wheels are about to go through this tremendous okay, change. Okay, so that that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, and 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 they don't and which whichever way it goes, you know they've kind of played uh, uh, many uh, marks on the table, and I think that's probably smart. Okay, and there are rumblings of a possible battery war. Tell us about that. Well. There, uh, this is a thing, you know, when I, we started covering this, it was $1,000 a kilowatt hour. Now you're talking about General Motors comes out with a 145 kilowatt hour figure, which, and there, there's all kinds of stuff baked into that. But, uh, and these are round numbers. But when we're talking about uh, 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 LG Chem's production in Korea, we're talking about Tesla's Gigafactory uh, volume coming online in the end of next year or the end of the decade at the latest. You know, now you're talking about a lot of battery manufacturers driving the price of these units down. Now you're talking about real possibilities in terms of mass ma mobility, engineering, all kinds of good things happen from sub $100 kilowatt hour power. Okay, and Dan, I know you're itching to say something about the state of germs on the handles oh, of gas right. pumps. Okay. Now, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, it, uh, okay, Kimberly Clark, our dear friend on the uh, Dow Jones Stock, Stock Exchange, uh, came out with a study. The filthiest thing that public ever touches on a daily basis is our gas pump handles. Oh. And uh, so, you know, uh, it, with an electric car, you don't ever go to a gas uh, pump again. Now, most people, 90% of the people would charge at home. And, and there's still germs on the uh, the one at home. But there are a better class of germs, I think you'll have to agree. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep my handy wipes handy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's smart thinking, yes. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Have a great weekend, Dan. Thank you, sir.